again and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, let us talk about word formation. Yes, words can be formed too, and having the knowledge in this is crucial on improving one's vocabulary. So here are the techniques or processes on how we form words. Let us begin with a very simple and common way of forming words. This is clipping. Clipping is a process of cutting a portion of the word. It can be at the beginning, middle, at the end, or the multiple parts of the word, leaving a part to stand for its meaning. Basically, clipped words are just shortened, but there is no change in meaning. Now, we have different categories of clipped words depending upon the portion that is removed from the original word. We have back clipping, for clipping, middle clipping, and complex clipping. Back clipping involves the truncation of the end portion of the word. Example is the word advertisement. The word advertisement is kind of long because it has four syllables. Now, in back clipping, the latter part of the word is removed, leaving only the beginning. Advertisement, we just say ad, and that is an example of back clipping. Used in sentence, Please don't skip ads while watching my videos. Now for the for clipping, the beginning part of the word is trimmed, leaving the latter part. Example is the word telephone, wherein tele, which is in the beginning part of the word, is removed as we just say phone. Next, for the middle clipping, only the middle part of the word is retained. Example is influenza wherein we just trim it into flu. And for the last category, complex clipping, it removes multiple parts of the word. For example, is from the word cable telegram, we just say cablegram. So those are the examples of clipped words. Now that we're done with the clipping process, here is the activity that I'm leaving you. You may use the comment section to share your answers. Next is compounding. And this is a process of combining two or more words to come up with a new single word with a new meaning. So this can also be categorized based on how they are spelled. We have open compound, closed compound, and hyphenated compound. Example of an open compound is nail cutter. Nail plus cutter is nail cutter, but there is a space between the two. For the closed compound, we have notebook. Note plus book equals notebook. And that word has no space between them. And for the hyphenated, of course, there is a presence of hyphen between each word. Example is mother-in-law. Mother hyphen in hyphen and law. Those are compound words. To test your understanding on compounding process, I challenge you to try this activity. Let us now move on to another process. Blending or the so-called portmanteau. To me, this is kind of difficult to do because it requires creativity from the person to come up with a new word. Because most of the blended words that I have already heard sound so good. These are examples of the blended words. Cyber, from the word cybernetic plus organism, cyber. Next, when we combine breakfast and lunch, we come up with a new word, brunch. Next, smoke plus fog is smug. See, they sound good, right? This time, I want to challenge you to do this activity wherein you have to find out where the following blended words came from. And please don't forget to give their meanings. Can you do it? Good luck! We also have acronyming and initialism. We often use acronyms and initials interchangeably, thinking that they are just the same. But the reality is, even if they have these similarities, still they are different. Both acronyms and initials are taken from the first letter or first parts of the words, but when we pronounce it as a new word or like a word, it is an acronym. However, if we pronounce those um, initials letter by letter, um, or I mean separately, they are called initials. 
but both are under abbreviation. To enlighten you more about this, this is an example of an acronym. SCUBA, Self-Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus. Now, that is um, composed of first letter of the words that I mentioned, S-C-U-B-A self-contained underwater breathing apparatus but we pronounce it like a word really a word scuba that is an example of an acronym however in this example d-o-h department of health i did not pronounce it as do but d-o-h per initial therefore that is an example of initial these are examples of acronyms and these are examples of initials. For your activity on these processes, I want you to tell what these acronyms and initials stand for. You just have to state its complete form. Next is reduplication. This process is also called cloning, doubling, repetition because um, it is a process wherein a sound from that word is just repeated or duplicated. Examples are flip-flop, ping-pong, tweeny weeny and others. Another process of word formation is affixation, wherein affixes, including prefix and suffix, are added to the words to form a new word. Now, these are examples of words that are products of affixation. That concludes my discussion on word formation processes, and I hope you learned something from me today. But I want you to know that you can still search for other word formation processes that I failed to discuss in this video, and those are also important. I just pick those which I think you will most likely encounter as you improve your vocabulary. So for my students, my message for you is I want you to answer all the activities that are included in this video. Thank you and see you on my next videos.